My name is Bill Henry. I'm Director of Groundswell Coastal Ecology. I'm a restoration ecologist and we focus on making places better for nature and people. Today here we are at Lighthouse Field State Beach and this is a park at the kind of the northern entrance to the Monterey Bay and the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. So western monarchs are really on the precipice of extirpation. Um, historically numbers were in the millions and these are the monarchs that are west of the Rockies, the western population. Last year they were as low as 2,000 monarchs in the entire western population. And that's not very many monarchs. This year there's hope for the population as recent counts um, put them close to 35,000 monarchs. We're working with the parks to implement actions for conserving uh, monarch butterflies at the different sites in Central California and Santa Cruz County. We've historically worked with the parks and other programs such as building living shorelines as part of the Earth Day programs that the foundation has. So California state parks are critically important to the western monarch population, both from the perspective of harboring overwintering sites and also from the perspective of providing habitat for migratory and breeding monarchs. Um, one of the key points is that over 25 overwintering sites are found on state parks land. And state parks has a mandate to manage these resources as natural resources for the enjoyment of people. So state parks are automatically managing you know, the habitat for monarchs. Um, parks is proactive in trying to maintain these populations and support conservation efforts that will in turn support these populations. And I think it's, it's, it's very important that there's one agency you know, that has a collective um, standpoint that is of conservation of monarchs. Some of the things that we can do on the coast include planting nectar, nectar plants. So this helps especially late and early flowering natives. These plants help the monarchs by providing them with the nectar resources that allow them to arrive and have sufficient resources to make, make it through the winter and also to boost them in their migration as they leave. One of the other things that you can do on the coast is not to plant milkweed, especially the tropical milkweeds. These milkweeds can harbor um, large populations of OE, which is a protozoan parasite again, that um, basically will uh, disrupt the life cycle of monarchs and causes infected individuals to die. Moving away from the coast, two things that people can do to support monarchs are one, to plant a diversity of native flowering plants that can provide nectar resources for monarchs along their migrator migratory pathway. And then we can also plant native milkweeds that can support breeding habitat for the monarchs to use and support the future generations of the monarchs.